Hey everybody, there is not a single person among my subscribers who has not tried a bounty bar at least once in his life. Today, we will prepare a bounty bar of a simply incredible size. Let's see what the original bar consists of. Outside, we see milk chocolate, and inside, coconut filling. We go to the store for all the groceries we need. The first thing you need to take is a lot of chocolate. We have 150 chocolate bars in the cart. Coconut shavings. You need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. 20 kilograms. Nine kilograms of sugar. Citric acid. Coconut oil. Basically, that's it. Now we can head to the checkout. The check came out to $390. Let's start with the fact that we have a big sheet of wood. Using a ruler and a pencil, we draw everything. By hand, we round the corners. We have drawn the bounty form. Now we just need to cut it out with an electric jigsaw. Done. Now we take the plastic wrap and wrap it. We take three boxes of milk chocolates and a bowl. We crush the chocolate bars on the table, open them, and shake out the already broken pieces of chocolate into the bowl. We continue until the bowl is filled. Done. We put water in a saucepan. and put that on the stove. Then the bowl of chocolate on top. Now we melt everything in a steam bath, stirring occasionally. Chocolate is porous, so when it melts, it greatly decreases in volume. We add more. We put the melted chocolate on a board. We put the mold on the table and we pour in the chocolate in portions. And smear it around. All until we cover the entire surface of the mold. Now we take a huge saucepan and all the coconut shavings that we bought. We open each pack and pour it into the bowl. Done, there's almost 20 kilograms of coconut shavings in the saucepan. Now you need four kilograms of coconut oil. We open the jars and put them in there as well. Done. But now we need sugar and citric acid. We'll cook the syrup in two pots. We open a pack of sugar, measure 300 grams on the kitchen scale, and pour that into a pan. And in the second 300 grams, water is also needed. Measure 130 milliliters and pour it into the sugar. Now turn the stove on high and just wait until the syrup is cooked. Be sure to use a thermometer. 
As soon as the temperature has reached 107 degrees, we rearrange the pots, add a little citric acid, and mix. We take a three liter jar and pour our syrup into it. Between each new batch of syrup, we wash the pan from the previous batch. Again, we measure everything and cook. And keep repeating this. Only one jar is filled. This isn't enough. After another four hours, we cooked eight liters of syrup. Now we just need to pour the syrup into the saucepan and mix. But then I realized that there would be very little filling. So we bought another 50 kilograms of coconut shavings, 10 liters of coconut oil, and 20 liters of glucose syrup from the store. All this cost $315. By the way, playing with the syrup in the bag is a great stress reliever. It is the fucking best. Pour one jar of the syrup into a saucepan. We open the glucose syrup and fill the jar with it to understand how much we will add. Pour the first three liters. Then another one and a half. Now you need to mix all this with your hands so that all the coconut shavings are soaked with syrup and oil. The mass is heavy and thick, so it's hard to mix. But after 20 minutes, I mixed it all the way through. Our chocolate has been frozen for a long time. We take the coconut filling out and dump it into the mold. Evenly distribute the mass with your hands. And pack it in. We open the bag of coconut shavings, pour most of it into a saucepan. This time we make a small crater in the coconut shavings. And that's where we pour into our syrup. And then the glucose syrup. We open the canister with coconut oil and pour out four liters. This oil is liquidy because it was in hot water. Again, we knead it all together, this time with four hands. Then we pour out the contents of the pan. And spread it around. Now we just need to make the final third batch Put it into the mold as well. It will have to be leveled more carefully so that the shape of the bar looks like a bounty. At first we did it all with our hands and then we carefully patted it with a board. Done, after two hours of hard work on the molding. We got what we needed. 
We take all the remaining chocolates, crush them on the table, open them up, and throw them back into the bowl. And into a steam bath. When all the chocolate has become liquid, pour it over the bar and smear it around with a spatula. Then pour out the second bowl of chocolate. Cover up all the gaps. And finally, the third bowl. I ran out of all the chocolate that I bought. I had to go to the store again and buy a lot more chocolate bars. This cost us $192. The chocolate that flowed down the sides of the bar, we collected from the bottom back into the bowl. We'll just melt it down again. That's how many chocolates we have to crush. To speed up the process, we use two bowls. Done. We send them to the steam bath. We wait until it melts, and we break more. And we're left with two full bowls of hot chocolate. But that's not all. We take the oil, and we add a lot of it to each bowl. Thanks to the oil, the chocolate will become more liquidy. We mix everything well, and pour it into the bar mold. Just look at how beautifully the chocolate fits. Pour out the second bowl of chocolate, and distribute it. Even more chocolate now. We tried to make little curlies on top, like on a bounty bar, but it didn't work out well enough to make them beautiful, so we poured the final bowl of chocolate on top to smooth out all the irregularities. After three days of work until two in the morning, our huge bounty bar is finally ready. After counting all the things that we used, it turned out that this mega monster weighs 134 kilograms. And there are 643,000 calories in this bar. That's a lot. Let's finally cut it. The chocolate layer is carefully cut with a hacksaw. And for the filling, I bought a hefty machete. We cut through the bar. The whole filling in the bar is uniform, as is in the original. Taking into account all additional purchases, our bounty bar costs $903. Let's cut off a small piece and try our huge bounty. Mm, you know, it doesn't taste like what it looks like. It just tastes like a bounty. If you try it with your eyes closed, no one can tell the difference. It's incredibly delicious. Now you have to choose which candy bar we make next. In the comments, write, Wanzai, prepare a huge Milky Way bar, or Twix, or nuts. Whatever gets the most votes in the comments, I'll make it. And don't forget to like this video. The more likes this video gets in a short period of time, the faster we'll begin coming up with a plan for cooking another huge candy bar. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Bye, everybody.